this is Emmanuel from Topia and today we're here at the NAMM Show 2020 to check out the new models for Ibanez. So, this is Daniel from Ibanez. Hi, but we're not at NAMM. We're not at NAMM? No, we're at Ibanez headquarters. Hey, oh, that's even more awesome. <laughs> so, more awesomer. More awesomer. Awesome. Denglish. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Daniel and he's going to introduce us to all the new models for 2020. So, first thing I need to say is, I just shredded my way through all of them, basically. I, heard them. <laughs> heard that. I was annoying everyone hours. with that. <laughs> hours, hours and hours. hours. And um, <laughs> there are some pretty new amazing features. And it's pretty awesome to do this video being an Ivan as an artist and a Topedia artist at the same time. So I'm doing this for two kind of camps, which is pretty awesome feeling to do. Absolutely. So without further ado, Introduce us to these beauties behind us. All right, well, this is uh, one of the new series that we have for this year, and this is one I think that you like pretty much. It's called the High Performance. Whoops! High Performance series. It's actually like NAM. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> this is a new series of uh, RG and RGA models that are all crafted in Indonesia, and they are specced like to the highest standards that we can offer at this uh, price point, starting from 500 up to 900 bucks. And they come stock with uh, like decent tops, for example, flame maple tops or uh, ash tops or like this beautiful trans ash top and they are loaded with uh, either the Marzio Air Norton Tone Zone pickups like on this one or uh, the Fusion Edge pickups which, which is really awesome like yeah. these these are high quality pickups that are also included on some of the prestige models I think correct yeah yeah, yeah. and especially when like for the high gain stuff they they kind of seem to have the right amount of compression and everything to make it really like mm -hmm. wall of sound kind of thing and uh, that is awesome for guitars that are just like starting from 500 bucks. Yeah, absolutely. And the, and the guitars, the basis basically is a um, Nayado body, mm -hmm. so it is pretty close to mahogany basically. Uh, like I said, with a veneer top and then they are sported with a roasted maple neck. <laughs> Smells good. Smells like pizza. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, roasted maple neck with a beautiful Yatoba fretboard with dot inlays. Um, and apart from that, it's no frills guitar. You've got tone, you've got uh, volume, you've got the uh, coil tap, you've got a three-way switch. It's basically a rock piece to just go. And tell us about the bridge. Is that just a monorail or...? It's not a monorail, it's just like a regular fixed bridge. So okay. that makes it easy for all those guys that are too lazy to uh, either, you know, fix fix the tremolo or set up the tremolo every now and then or just the guys that just have no use for it in their musicality so <laughs> like i said it's a no frills guitar so you just plug and play but it still has the opportunity to set up the string action yeah, on every string individually yeah. right yeah for correct intonation but that's a must absolutely that is so awesome yeah and right. basically the other part of the series is the rga whoops is the rga so these are also very lightweight so if you give it a try i think so. i ate more pizza than that today <laughs> I'm sure about that actually. <laughs> but uh, these are the RGA models. They come, come with a carved top. So right. basically like an arched arch top. Uh, pickups, they are mounted right into the body. And apart from that, it's uh, basically uh, the equivalent to the other models with... Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, the slightly more round shape yep, correct. feels very uh, ergonomic when playing it. So I spent lots and lots of time with this and this guitar. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. especially like the part on the back uh, where, you know, they Round shaped off. it a little rounder. That yeah. is the very like feels ergonomic when playing it, and it doesn't hurt. It's not in a way when you're sitting there for an extended amount of time practicing recording or whatever. So that's yeah. something I really enjoyed. It's got a belly cut here, so yeah, yeah, it's very right comfy. for guys it's, like it's, me. It's, it's very comfy here, and uh, yeah, you get upper access to all the highest frets. So, like I said, these are these are high performance instruments. It's where the name was derived, and uh, they're ready to go. So you can take them and go on stage, and they will just uh, serve. High performance for a very reasonable pricing point. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, what else have we got? There we are at the Prestige models. So Daniel, what is that? Guitars. Guitars. These are our awesome. Yeah, high end. That's Japanese it. Guitars. <laughs> yeah. These are uh, our high end Prestige guitars. Uh, this is the RG4327. Uh -huh. It's a seven string guitar with a very very specific top. Can you guess what it is? Feels pretty smooth. Okay. Uh, probably something like paper. <laughs> You're right. It's rich light. Rich light. Yeah. So it's basically paper that's been pressurized uh -huh. and uh, it turns into something that is very, very smooth and still very, very sturdy. So it, it gives for a nice, like, visual. Yeah, it looks like an armor or something. Yeah, yeah. Game of Thrones. Mad Max guitar, guitar yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, and apart from that, it's a it's a very nice and very sleek guitar. It's an RGD, so you got all the like drop top kind of finish with the bevels and the deep cutaway, 
We have uh, Fusion Edge pickups from Dimasio, mm -hmm. seven string pickups. We got low pro edge on it. Um, just the volume control, three way switch. Mm -hmm. Makasa Ebony fretboard with glow in the dark, side dots, five piece neck, and uh, yeah, reverse headstock. Most important feature. Yeah. Ooh. Doesn't get more metal than that. Nope, definitely not. So this is a new addition, like, like one, just one guitar within that uh, 4000 range, but we added a few more in the RG Prestige 5000 range, and these are those three beauties that you see here. So, uh, just from the visuals, they're probably pretty difficult, uh, different, but uh, also like the pickup configuration, all that stuff seems to be rather uh, different. So. What is going on here? <laughs> it's like different uh, strokes for different folks, and we figured that uh, within the Prestige 5000 range, we had some people that liked the bare knuckle pickups a lot, we had some people that liked the Fishman pickups a lot, but there were still some blind spots, and basically we tried to address those. And uh, with this model from the 5000 range, uh, for example, we added an HSH Fishman configuration, which is pretty new. We haven't had that in any guitar before. So this is basically like a bass wood, kind of lightweight bass wood RG. Yeah. There you go. Kind of, yeah. With a lot of bling bling, you've got all like the proloid stuff around the body and uh, around the neck, so it's a very nice binding. Also with cool dark inlays, five piece neck. Like I said, HSH configuration. We've got the golden low pro edge, uh, two voicing options, five way switch, volume tone. Oh, two voice. So we have like ten different sounds we can get out of the guitar. Yeah, yeah, like you, like you would expect from the Fishman pickups because they have different voicing options. Voicing one, which I is see. like a little bit yeah, more modern, effective, right? kind of thing. Yeah. And basically, yeah, but then that sums up to a like perfect rock X, or basically that's a guitar that's, that's very versatile and can do everything. And it's, it, it kind of resembles a little bit of a blend between the, the old K7 that we had, like the corn signature back in the day, yeah. and, uh, and the jam, basically. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's The visuals smart. are very much in that, that direction, and uh, it's a very nice addition to the Prestige 5000 range for guys who are looking for a more, let's say, Spacey looking guitar? Is it spacey? I don't know, but it's silver, it's, it's pretty cool. And you know, something uh, like my two cents, uh, as someone who is mainly facing all these stuff from a player's perspective, mm -hmm. uh, is that these guitars feel like uh, the queen of electric guitars, kind of, so to say. Yeah. It does sound a little cheesy, but I don't own that much expensive guitars. So the most ex expensive one that I own is a Prestige uh, Century any kind of thing mm -hmm. that I bought on eBay some years ago. And besides that, I have like 20 Ibanez guitars, but uh, all of them are like, most of them are under a thousand euros, and mm -hmm. mainly Indonesian and all that stuff. Because uh, I feel like uh, that is one of the reasons why I'm Ibanez artist, is you can spend a thousand euros and you can get something that perfectly works as a professional instrument. Mm -hmm. And so I'd rather like to have many guitars instead of expensive guitars. But, uh, you know, just to come to the point, uh, when I did the video on these guitars specifically, I was so amazed and I haven't been that inspired, and I really do not say this for marketing purpose or whatever. You can see the, the light in my eyes probably right now. Uh, I've, it has been such a long time that I've been so inspired by a musical instrument. Okay. And uh, which one in particular did you like? All this? of them. That all is the them? thing. It's it's like uh, with most of guitars, you have five, you know, five uh, times the same guitar, and uh, somehow there's that one guitar that mm -hmm. kind of speaks to you the most. But I had this kind of thing with all the guitars. Awesome. And you know, I'm a shredding guy, and when I grab up the guitar, most <laughs> probably what you hear is going to be some legato string skipping, whatever. Yeah. And. Uh, these guitars just inspire me to play new stuff that uh, I wouldn't actually play. So I don't know, but you did some kind of you guys did some kind of voodoo to these <laughs> models, I think. Well, I think that's uh, the Japanese craftsmanship and you know how, how much time and dedication they spend and put into every single instrument. So you won't probably find any kind of prestige that that doesn't fit a certain level of quality and also a certain level of love that, that you know just that, went that's into exactly the that's exactly it's it's not just the quality because i i have 500 new guitars which are set up properly with my favorite things all this stuff mm -hmm. uh, that are really great instruments but these are not just great instruments but you know there was that 
certain thing that you can't describe in words. Mm -hmm. Even if we would speak German, which is our you know native language, I wouldn't be able to express what I felt in words. So that was such an amazing feel. That's so lovely to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really great. Because then I, I gotta say, then I think the mission is accomplished that we just added a few more like nuances to the to the Prestige 5000 line that inspires people to make music. And either if you're into like Dimasio. Uh, fusion edge pickups and uh, tremolos or you're into bare knuckle brute force pickups and you know a fixed bridge or you want the full package with HSH configuration and all the bling bling you know there's something for for everyone you know that speaks to everyone and uh, you can pick from there yes. like we all know that kind of feeling like uh, I mean friendship is something very special and the friendship grows with time and all that but sometimes I, I think we all have that one friend which we who we just met mm -hmm. randomly and then like from the first dialogue we know hey this guy's gonna be my friend for yeah. like forever <laughs> and I'm pretty emotional when it comes to guitars I give my guitars names and all that stuff you know and you know uh, when I see all the scratches I'm like hey you know I remember I you know smashed <laughs> from the whatever on this tour and I did it on this gig yeah, and yeah. you know I'm pretty emotional when it comes to guitars but these guitars were just that kind of friend that you've met the first time and you yeah. know He's gonna be my friend. Whatever happens, these guitars are my friends. So. Uh, so you got three new friends then. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> I mean, since they're prestige, they're probably not as affordable as the ones we checked out yeah, before. They clock in around two grand. Two grand, all right. Which is still pretty like reasonable uh, for for that kind of spec and quality. Yeah. yeah. So, still, just I mean, whoever built these guitars, thank you so much for for the art. Uh, well, greetings to Fujigen and uh, yeah. our friends in Japan for building those instruments. Oh, awesome. Glad you like them. So before this ends up in tears, <laughs> let's go on to the next models. All right. And here we are at the premium range. So, right. Dan, tell us about that. Well, every year we have a, like a very decent range of premium guitars where we try to you know pick up new trends and you know bring up something that is new or kind of trendy within the scene. And this year. We have a new series, it's called the 1120 series, with uh, very tropical finishes and a lot of poplar going on. That's, that looks like vacation. That looks like vacation, like, like shoreline and a lot of beach and water, etc. And uh, like as the pinnacle of the series, we have a one spot model, at least one spot model every year within the, prestige, uh, within the premium range. And this one is, well, for this year, it is this one, the RG6P PBFX. PB stands for poplar barrel, so we have a beautiful, massive, seven millimeter thick Poplar top. It's very three-dimensional. Yeah, yeah, looks awesome, like a video game or something. Yeah, um, we've got a fixed bridge, like monorail style. And the uh, beautiful thing about this guitar is that we have stock bare knuckle aftermath pickups, so they do not just look red; they it's also still sound split, red. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. Three-way switch, volume, and then you've got a coil tab. Um, apart from that, eleven-piece neck. Oh, okay. That it looks technical. Yeah. Facebook body, and like I said, the, the solid top. And one specialty about this range for this year is we have kind of golden frets. Hope you can see that here. They're called Jesco Evo Gold frets. It's a special alloy that's made in Japan, and uh, this is kind of the, 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 the hot stuff at the moment that everyone <laughs> is longing for because they are a little bit sturdier than nickel frets, and uh, but they still can be can be treated very nicely so you get a very round broken in kind of feeling straight off the bat. Yeah, yeah, it felt like uh, you would be a little more connected to the fretboard. Yeah, yeah. Play immediately. Also the, the neck profile is a little bit thicker than what you would usually expect. So it's not a super, super shreddy like paper thin neck. It's, um, it's got a little bit more uh, mass and a little bit more edge to it. And apart from that, well, it's also a no nonsense rock guitar basically and it's very lightweight if you want to check that out. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean though the neck I can feel there's slightly more meat to, mm -hmm. to the neck. But um, well, something I really enjoy and value about the wizard necks in general is that though they are pretty thin, they still have that round kind of profile mm -hmm. where like some other necks I've played in the past are like even thinner, mm -hmm. but they're not comfortable to play at all. I mean, it's pretty fast, but after like two minutes, you're you know you can't play because your know, fingers hurt are hurting because you know you just have to put your hand in an unnatural position that mm -hmm. doesn't make sense. And with the like slightly thin but still round profile, I really uh, enjoy shredding on these ones. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, though it does have a little more to it, it still works perfectly out for all the sweeping. You know, 
all this stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. And I just checked it out. So yeah. if I say that, then it's true. It's a core discipline for those guitars, <laughs> but they are much more than just like the metal monsters. They can do rock and but you can even play jazz. I mean, the pickups, they're capable of basically playing every style. And uh, what is so nice about the series is that is if you are not necessarily up for a glossy finish or you don't need like the aftermath pickups because they're quite pricey, uh, you can also go like for the standard model where you have like the Dimasio Fusion Edge pickups as well and a low gloss finish. So no more fingerprints on it, ah, which is very nice. And also we've got a beautiful pop lock veneer on top of the body, also 11 piece neck. And the basswood basis for those guitars provides also like the perfect, the perfect uh, like bones for the instrument to really, you know, articulate themselves. You know, vibrations were pretty good. With yeah, those yeah. Ones. yeah. Well, basswood is just like the go-to wood for for RGs back in the day, '87 around that time. Basswood was not very common. You know, yeah. people, people would use mahogany or other woods, and basswood was you know overlooked. But uh, since it was very consistent in terms of uh, the weight and also. Uh, how it sounded, it was like picked by Steve Vai for his signature guitar, the Gem, and also for the RG. And from there, it was just like victory all over the place for this wood. And uh, so, having like a massive piece of uh, base wood here with a very nice veneer on top is just like the quintessential idea of how an RG should look like. We yeah. also have some nice uh, ebony fretboard with the Jesco Gold, so it's a very nice contrast. It's a little bit more figured as well, so it's not just plain black, which fits very well to the overall aesthetics of the guitar. And uh, well, we've got this one with the Edge Zero, or we have the 1121 with the fixed bridge, also available in a charcoal finish that is right next to you. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. same pop lock top and the finishes. And also for our seven string friends that want to go lower and lower, we have the 1127. It's basically the same guitar, but uh, with the Marzio Fusion Edge 7 pickups. Yeah, monorail bridge, locking tuners and just one additional string for more low-end glorious. That's awesome. I really like spec'd out for a modern player's need, I'd say. And when playing them, I really felt like, uh, especially with the different pickup configuration, it's not just the pricing point, I'd say, but uh, the Fusion Edge really are, are like really, really good for lead mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, because they have lots of sustain, and as I said, they can gain, they, they ha handle the gain so much while still having that little warmth of the passive pickup, mm -hmm. but be like adding lots of definition to it at the mm -hmm. same time. That is, was a very special feeling. I don't own a guitar with the Fusion Edge pickups. I just have the Tone Zone and Air Norton Combi, which is like you know classic. It works, but that was very joyful to play for neat stuff. While the bare knuckle uh, guitars mm -hmm. uh, really. Uh, I mean, they really show what they can be capable of when playing rhythm, mm -hmm. and especially with like low tunings, drop tunings. That's just massive. So if I'd be playing in a band with like two guitar players uh, and a lot of stuff going on. I would choose uh, the Fusion Edge, but if I would be like the only guitar player in the band, I would probably use the Baron. It's because they have that. Everything sounds like double track yeah. <laughs> with, with these ones. A lot of power, yeah. So uh, yeah, that, that is just you know something I really enjoy uh, that the, the different specs make sense in different situations. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. You know, everyone will find something that is suitable for him. Yeah. Well, and uh, we've got some like a wide offering this year, so you can check them out and see if they fit your needs, your musical needs, and if you can create some beautiful music with it. Yeah, and they look like a vacation, as I said, so it's probably cheap on the vacation, and additionally you will get a guitar. So There you go. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, what else do we got? AZ range, over there. So let's go. So, here we are at the Ibanez AZ range for 2020. So we got some new babes coming this year, and, uh, well, which, aren't, which, which ones are the new models for 2020? Because there are so many AZ models that I can, you know, can remember what we had back last year. Well, basically all of them that you see. So we already released a few like early, like September-ish last year, but we added a few more. So we're happy to have like 15 or 15, 15 or 16 different AZ models for I have that one. That you, looks gorgeous. That one. Yeah, that's a, quite a new one, but uh, this already got released in uh, 2019. But this one, for example, is a new one oh. within, the, within the premium range. So they now come with golden hardware, we have beautiful poplar top, and also a addition or like a new feature. We have the go-to locking tuners that you can lock on the back. Oh man. Yeah, 
So this is something that's got, that was requested by quite a few people that uh, like the hub M mechanics, but they were not really used to, you know, using that on a daily basis. So and it, you know, it's like habits. If you're used to like using those kind of locks, you just want to have it. And apart from that, well, the aesthetics are pretty nice, and we have more finishes than that. Also a cerulean blue burst one. It's also one of the most requested finishes because we already had those on the S series and the RG series as well. I remember that. I did a video on that one. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. And what is new for this one is that uh, this is the first HSS configured AZ that comes without a scratch board. Oh, so instead really? we have a pickup cover on the hamburger mm -hmm. position on the bridge. And uh, like I said, the HSS configuration but without a scratch plate so that the beautiful top really shines through. All right. And apart from that, we have more gloriness in the prestige range, which are the Made in Japan AZs. For instance, this beautiful lady in black. Oh man, so all the metal guys will play there. Either this one or maybe the gilmore the black one that you've got here. gilmore I yeah. see. It's a very Pink floyd uh, with beautiful white pickups, also a uh, bridge cover for the pickup, for the appearing pickup in the bridge position. We've got the beautiful two-ply pickguard, and apart from that, it's just a beautiful, very elegant guitar. That is a little bit more, it looks more like a... a little more classy. Classy, yeah. This is not for the metal guys. No, probably, probably the metal guy would go for this one, dual humbucker version with a black flat finish. Or if you are up for something very, very specific, you could try this one. Because this will probably fit every purpose. This is a brand new model and it's a first in the AZ line. This is uh, the first Ash AZ okay. that comes with dual humbuckers but with 22 frets. So usually oh. our 24 fret guitars have two humbuckers and the 22 fret guitars had HSS configuration. But for the S, uh, for the for the AZ Ash version, we came up with this. So the neck pickup moves a little bit further up, and it's very lightweight, very well sounding and well resonating guitar. It's got a lot of honk in the midst. Yeah, I mean these necks are just like for all the AZ guitars. These necks are so special. Yep, right. That is cool. Yeah. We just uh, talked talked about uh, Pink Floyd. So uh, something that I would you know connect with Pink Floyd is this guitar <laughs> because it is pink. Well, that's not a Floyd, but you can put some on it, doesn't? Can't you? Yeah. Well, it's it's not necessarily like what, what you would think of if you like think of pink. It's more like a mature <laughs> mature pink, you know, for for the for the adult. Okay. <laughs> they would adult like pink, to have yeah. adult pink kind of thing. That uh, for the person that would like to have a little bit of a sparkly guitar, but that looks very classy too. So this is a new finish is called Hazy Gold Metallic. Hazy. We call it the Hazy. Oh, it's got a beautiful, beautiful finish, and this guitar also sounds killer. So. Like you said earlier, the prestige ones that come from Japan, they are all very good in terms of quality and every, they, they all have the same quality standard, but they all speak in a different language. So they all have their own personality and all have their like home frequency, how we call it. And this guitar speaks very loudly and it's a very, very nice one. So highly recommend it. I don't know if it's like, if it depends on the color, but this one is definitely like a loud guitar, very vibrant. Yeah, and that's basically it. All the AZ news for 2020. So they all still have the same pickups, right? It's all the Hyperion. Hyperion all the way. Correct. Okay. So, that is awesome. Daniel, yeah. thank you so much for guiding us through all the 2020 My pleasure. stuff. It was like just everything today, playing the guitars, being here at this very inspirational place. It was such a pleasure for me and uh, you know, I hope that uh, yeah we'll see you again soon, and that I can get to play some of these beautiful guitars Looks again. Too. So it was a pleasure, <laughs> guys. Hopefully you like this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like our work, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, to turn on the notification bell, to leave a like, a comment, share the video, all the good stuff that would help us grow. And also make sure to check out the description because you will have access to our very own Tonepedia player there and, you know, just uh, get to experience how it is to have an interactive guitar demo. So, thank you for tuning in and hopefully we will see us in the next video.